Cool. Let's see what Medicare is up to. Let me get to some other official business first. Let's get that intro song out of the way. There we go. You may have noticed. They've mistakenly remonetized me for a minute. I doubt that's going to last very long. But I put little puddings and little itty-bitty hamsters in for the Medicare ships. Tiny, itty-bitty little hamsters and puddings. I've heard some people saying, speculating, Keemstar pulled a few strings, got me my channel back. We all know YouTube is really big on the idea of mocking people who have gone through sexual abuse. <laughs> that was the decision. That was the decision at YouTube headquarters. They said, hey, Keem, we need you to get Jim to make fun of Boogie <laughs> about a traumatic childhood uh, uh, situation that he went through. And then we're going to remonetize him. We're going to let him get all the fucking dollar he dues. But he's got to make that fat motherfucker cry. It's the first thing you got to do. So Kim was like, Eagle has landed. Let's send the message. Signal flares up in the air. Let's do this. Jim, Jim, you've got to dunk on him. You've got to come dunk on this fat titted man and make him cry about this terrible tipple abuse. I was a man for the job. I was hired to come in and do it. Let's make it awkward and uncomfortable. That's what Jim's for. Then I got that email. Mission accomplished. We'll call you when we need you. We'll call you when we need you to go after more sex abuse victims, Jim. Checks in the mail. It's very easy to discredit something somebody says uh, when you completely lie about what was said. Uh, to clarify, my point was that after Jim showed up and gave Keemstar twenty thousand viewers on a dead podcast he owns. That Keemstar did him a favor and got his account remonetized on YouTube, um, which wouldn't require any kind of grand conspiracy or top-down commands from YouTube headquarters regarding bullying sex abuse victims or whatever the fuck he's trying to say. Uh, it just seems very likely. And not only that, but you don't have to be in on it uh, for that to work. For instance, let's say that Boogie is doing things for attention. He's going out and he's doing crypto scams and then... He says something about cancer, and then you get personally offended about this and do a stream that gets tens of thousands of viewers about Boogie. Keemstar sees an opportunity, invites you on to make fun of him. Boogie is, of course, paid to be made fun of because he's on a show called the Fat Retard Podcast where the job description is get made fun of. And then he gets tens of thousands of viewers and thousands and thousands of dollars in the process. And as a kickback, he says, okay, remonetize his channel. Or could you look into remonetizing his channel to his YouTube partner program? And they do. And then does that require some grand leap of logic? Does that require Neil Mahan to be personally involved? Not really. Um, so I don't know what the, the goal is to, to try and do uh, what you would call it an argument ad absurdum to what I said. Because I don't think what I said was that unreasonable. Cute hamsters, though. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!